Welcome to Beast Brigade, I'm Luke Brimble. Today I'll be reviewing the Reebok Trail Cruiser shoe. Remember guys, if you like the contents of the channel, make sure you subscribe, press the notifications bell, and this will tell you when I upload new content. If you've enjoyed this review, make sure you give it a like. This is a pretty cool shoe that I've had my eye on now for a couple of months. Reebok have said that these are rugged enough for the trails, but they are sleek enough for the city. So let's take a closer look at the shoe. So here is the shoe. We've got the uh, grippy outsole here, which, you know, is pretty cool. We've got these sort of jagged edges. Okay, they're gonna give you good grip out and about. And that then runs onto the side here as well. This material is coming up onto the front of the sort of toe area. Okay, and it also runs up onto the heel as well. They've got a few color options. It's got a soft fuel foam midsole. And as you can see here in the middle, and you can see the foam here, this runs throughout the trainer. And this is, you know, it's not too soft. Sort of a firm foam. And that's gonna run through, you can see it runs on the back of the shoe. Okay, here and then through the trainer. So we've got a durable ripstop upper. And this is abrasion resistance for lasting durability. I do really like this upper. That'd be really good if Reebok can incorporate this material in their other shoes. Just feels like a material okay, that's gonna be very durable. As you can see around the toe area as well, running around the toe and the outside of the shoe is just more of a durable material. On the back here, we've got a pulley to help you pull on the shoes. It's got a high anchor collar to sort of support your Achilles tendon. I like how you've how these shoelaces here are hidden. So the hidden within the trainer is really neat and keeps the, 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 the shoe very tidy. On the inside, you can see all the laces are all in, interlinked and the, this trainer doesn't really have eyelets, but it's just interlinked by this material running up the inside. And there's a more durable material running up and that towards the end, the last eyelet on the outside of the shoe Okay, is a sort of plastic material and sort of metal on the inside. The inside of the shoe is sort of a cotton material. Tongue, it's a similar sort of ripstop material as the upper. I'd say it's a sort of medium thickness. Okay, with the low, uh, Reebok logo stitched into the tongue here. But everything about it just feels aggressive. The sole looks aggressive. It's minimal. Reebok logo on the top, again, it just looks rugged it's got this big heavy stitching okay with a sort of khaki material uh, Reebok sign it's got the loop at the back of the shoe again with heavy stitching just overall just feels like a really rugged aggressive but minimal shoe I like how the Reebok logo in the side here is very subtle okay just slightly raised um, here you know, could I use this trainer for, for training? Uh, why not? You know, it's, it's going to be, it's a, it's a durable uh, shoe. It's got a, a very flat sole. It's not too, too heavy. You've got the uh, durable material on top, the toe protection. I think, you know, this shoe is going to last a while. So it's, it's, not like, it's not the widest shoe at the front, but I think you're still going to get some natural toe display. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. It's not the narrowest shoe I've seen, but it's not as, as wide as the sort of nanos. So the sole is sort of semi-glued in. Feel here, let's sort of pull it away. Yeah, it's gonna come out. You can see that it was sort of semi, semi-glued in. Good that you can get, get the sole out. And that way you can always change them when they get a bit worn down. Okay, and you can change them for something different if you just need support in different areas, maybe the sort of inside of the foot. You need that sort of pronation support. Yeah, it's good that you can take the, the sole out. The sole looks really good inside. Material's good, stitching's good. A lot more people are now having to train outside, sort of boot camps, running around on grass especially, then onto concrete various terrains um, and then doing functional sort of fitness. I think this uh, trainer is gonna, this is something that I think that you could probably use 
for those types of workouts. Remember guys, if you like the content of the channel, make sure you subscribe, press the notifications bell and this will tell you when I upload new content. If you've enjoyed this review, make sure you give us a like. This is Luke Brimble at Beast Brigade. See you next time.